A group of Russian archaeologists and historians was invited to Mexico to examine the famous collection of El Toro artifacts. And they studied stone and clay products which depict various motifs of ancient Indian culture. However, among the numerous objects found, images that clearly point to paleocontact are of the greatest interest. Section 51 Hi everyone, what's up guys, those Geek here again with Section 51. First, and before starting, let's like and share this new video right now to keep supporting Section 51. And please, let me invite you to watch this video until the end. Welcome all the new viewers on Section 51. A group of Russian archaeologists and historians was invited to Mexico to examine the famous collection of El Toro artifacts made of stone and clay products which depict various motifs of ancient Indian culture and in some cases clearly point to an alleged contact with deities coming from the sky. Academic science at the beginning of the 21st century proclaimed all artifacts related to such topics as falsifications. And by the way, about 20,000 items have already been discovered and their number is increasing. It was the latest artifacts from the collection that ended up in the hands of Russian researchers. Items were found at a depth of 2.5 to 4 meters. Most often the finds are stacked in a heap and framed by large rounded cobblestones. Probably this is how ancient people created prayer places, analog of temples. According to another hypothesis, it was in these places that paleocontact occurred. Star guests landed here to the Indians, whom they talk about in many of their myths. From the next cache of the ancient inhabitants of Mexico, they managed to extract about 240 items. Most of them are triangular stone amulets. For the first time, objects made of bone were discovered. And this finally exposed the myth of falsification. According to radiocarbon analysis, the product is about 2,600 years old. In fact, this proves that the burials of artifacts were created not today, but in ancient times. As for stone amulets, nothing new was found here. All the same motifs, flying saucers, ovals, pyramids, a humanoid type of creature. On some items, aliens are next to people who most often present gifts. One of the objects depicts how aliens give birth to an Indian woman, a very interesting detail. When the Indian civilization was just getting on its feet, the average age of women was 30 to 35 years due to the very high mortality during childbirth. However, around 300 to 400 BC, the mortality rate for women drops sharply and the average age rises sharply by 10 to 12 years. Perhaps the fact is that the Indians were shown how to reduce the risk of a woman dying during the birth of a child. A bold hypothesis, but it has a place to be. Among other things, Russian specialists were shown a stone slab on which some symbols and signs were depicted. At a consultation dedicated to these finds, it was hypothesized that a constellation is depicted on it. This version did not appear out of nowhere. The icons on the plate displayed the number of stars and planets in the constellation Scorpio. 13 large potholes are stars and 138 small ones are planets. However, it is still quite difficult to verify this due to the fact that astronomers are not completely sure of the exact number of planets in this constellation. If the hypothesis turns out to be correct, 
Then, most likely, it was from there that star guests flew to ancient Mexico. In addition, six exoplanets have been discovered in the constellation of Scorpio, where potentially life conditions are close to earthly ones. In fact, this means that beings from these planets could live on our planet for some time. Mexico and South America keep many secrets and mysteries of the ancient world order. Sometimes it seems that you find yourself in some kind of fantasy world, although, in fact, all this may turn out to be true. As for the artifacts of El Toro, one thing can be said. They are not recognized by the world scientific community because this will turn the ideas about the ancient world upside down. Some researchers, such as Erich von Daniken, Zekaria Sitchin, Robert K. G. Temple, Giorgio A. Tsoukalos, have no doubt that paleocontact is a real phenomenon. After all, the Mayan leaders claimed that their distant fathers, that is, distant relatives, came from the stars to Earth. Perhaps that is how it was. Section 51 is on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Don't forget to hit that like button and that bell button too. Don't forget to share the video and to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. This was Dos Geek with Section 51. I'll be back really soon, open your eyes, watch the sky, live long and prosper.